check the mic and make sure it sound right boys hi everyone welcome to my channel i'm claudia international makeup artist and today i'm going to show you how to achieve this 90s glam look first step first you always make sure that your face is very clean before applying any type of makeup and after that i'm gonna also balance the skin by using this toner by fresh this is a very good toner because it's not drying at all so this is why i love to use it you see me using it all the time the next step is of course hydration i'm gonna use the magic cream by charlotte tilbury and i'm just gonna massage it into the face she has a very clean young skin so she doesn't need much so i'm just gonna moisturize the skin very very well and then i'm also going to moisturize the lips as well most of the time i like to use a blurring primer on the center of the face just because that's where we usually get a little bit oily so this is what i'm doing right now i'm using the laura mercier one and i'm just dabbing it on on the nose area basically on the t-zone and because i like her skin so much i don't really want to use a foundation so i'm not using a foundation right here i'm just using like a mix between a foundation and an illuminator i love this product this is a very very nice product if you have amazing skin you can wear this by itself or you can mix it with your foundation for more luminosity you can also use it as a highlight it's a very multitasking product and it looks so so pretty on the skin looks very glowy and dewy as you can see right now i'm applying the concealer in the key areas because the concealer is the only one that's gonna have a little bit more coverage so i'm just making sure that under eye area looks very fresh and because i really want to see her beautiful skin i'm only going to use cream products for the face this is a gel bronzer actually this is by iconic london this is one of my favorite formulas for bronzer and also the blush as well it's a very very sheer product it just looks like nothing on the skin you don't see the texture at all and it blends like a dream it's so easy to use so right now i'm applying the bronzer on uh, cheekbones nose bridge on the temples and a little bit on the chin as well so i'm gonna use the same formula for the cheeks as well this is the shade power pink it's a very nice uh, flushed pink shade but it doesn't look as scary as it looks when you see it in on your hand it's actually very sheer so this is why it blends in very easily and it looks so flushed and natural it sound right boy so after applying the contour and the blush, I just want to make sure I clean up the center of the face a little bit with the left concealer that's on my brush. And I'm also making sure that I clean around the nose because I want to create the illusion of a smaller nose. So that's what I do in order to basically contour but not really contour. Right now I'm adding a liquid highlighter. I actually love this formula as well. It's very sticky in a good way. Like it sticks very well onto the skin and it looks very natural. It's pretty easy to blend too. You can also mix it with your foundation or use it on your chest as well. I'm using a little bit on the nose because I love this effect. It makes your nose so cute and tiny. And this is the only powder that you're gonna see me using for this look. I'm using a very small amount. This is the Huda Beauty powder which has a very nice blurring effect. And I'm basically just setting, literally just setting the center of the face because I really want to keep that beautiful glow that I added with all of the cream products. So I don't want to ruin that. So this is why I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit of powder on the center of the face because I don't want to look greasy but I want to look very fresh and youthful. For the eyes I will start by using this base by Bobbi Brown. This is a stick shadow, it's the shade taupe and it's very very easy to use as well. You can see it blends away like a dream, it's very creamy and very easy to blend so I'm using it this as a base, I'm blending it with the brush and then in order to set it and to also intensify the outer corner of the eye I'm going to use a powder eyeshadow and I'm going to just going to blend it around the crease area and on the outer V of the eye and of course on the lower lash line as well add little touches of highlighter here and there and especially in the inner corners of the eyes it just makes your eyes look so bambi i guess it's just so pretty such a pretty touch and right now i'm using a huda beauty melted shadow which sets by itself so it's very easy to use 
as well you can see that i really love products that are easy to use so that you guys can actually try these looks at home now onto the liquid liner i'm using this one by maven beauty which is again very easy to use it's very user friendly i start by creating the flick on the outer corner of the eye with the eye open you already know i like to create my flicks with the eye open because this way you can actually see how is gonna look when you're gonna look straight into the mirror or straight to somebody's eyes because nobody's gonna look at your eyeliner with your eyes closed so keep that in mind whenever you're creating your eyeliner to make the eyes look even more kitty cat-ish i'm gonna also apply a little bit of the liner inside the waterline this is not the same liner this is a gel liner on your waterline you want to use gel liners because they are way more resistant and right now onto the brows i'm gonna create a different brow that I usually create I'm gonna do something a little bit more thin because this is how they used to wear their brows in the 90s we all know we all been there I mean not all been there but uh, you guys that are born in the 90s you know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna just gonna do a combination between my brows and a 19 brow next step is of course the 90s lip we all know that they used to love brown liner and brown liner is a very big thing right now so I'll start by contouring the lips with this KKW Beauty a brown liner it's a nudish brown and then i'm gonna also accentuate the outer parts of it because i really want that contrast between the liner and the lip gloss so this is why i'm using a darker shade on the outer corners of the lips and right now i'm just applying the gloss all over the lips so that it will blend a little bit with the liner but not too much because i still want to see the difference between the liner and the lip gloss and this is the final look it's not that easy as uh, my other looks that I usually create here, but I still hope you're gonna try it. You can definitely try any look, just have fun with makeup, and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Yeah, yeah.